Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one because it is a new project pan series that I am starting. I am so excited to be filming this video and starting out another project pan series because as you guys can probably tell, I am very into them right now and I hope you are too. That is what I've been getting from my analytics on YouTube is that you are also very into them as well. So if you guys like this video or like project painting at all, please watch my other videos that I have on project painting. I'll put some cards up in this video. They'll obviously be linked down below and then I have a playlist on my channel. But if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. I was recently watching Makeup Shiki Kira on YouTube. A shout out, she is super consistent with content and does a lot of project panning. And one of the things that she was doing or a project that she was doing in regards to project panning was Project 100 Uses. And so I decided to do the same thing because I have a lot of relatively new makeup in my collection because I got re-inspired within the last like six months, six to eight months with makeup. And so because of that, I, like I said, I have a lot of new stuff because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with all of this stuff again. And I went out and bought it because probably for like two years, I really didn't do much makeup shopping and now I'm back on the makeup buying game and because of that I have a lot of relatively new stuff but in, that I'm focusing on older things in my project pan and not using my new stuff as much so this is kind of in an effort to put more time towards a couple new things um, and then uh, two things that are a little bit older that I think I would like to see how, how much 100 uses would get me towards completing that product. So basically what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to pick out five products. I'm going to use them 100 times. I'll give updates once a month. You know, obviously I'm probably not going to use something 100 times in one month, but I'll let you know how far I've gotten and all of that. And then after I use it 100 times, I'm going to roll it out. And this isn't going to be like a year long project pan. It's just going to like go on forever. I mean, probably not forever, but it's going to go on until I, you know, don't want to do it anymore. So I'm hoping to use a lot of products in my collection at least a hundred times, really get to know those products, learn more about them and make a dent on them. Um, and it obviously is not going to be happening every month. It's probably going to take me quite some time to use these things a hundred times, but that is the ultimate goal. So without further ado, let's dive into the five products that I'm working on in this hundred uses project pan. The first one is this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This has a super fine mist on it. Oh my gosh, amazing. It is so nice. And it is something that was recommended by Kathleen Lights. I love all of her recommendations for the most part. And this was something that she just raved about because of the mister, the fine mist on this. So I am for sure going to start working on it. As you can see, I've barely touch this so I'm very curious to see you know how much I can use this in the next month or so but then also how much 100 uses actually takes this down from where it is now to where it could be and the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist is at 147 grams the next product is this NARS blush this was like a 100 point perk or some sort of print perk or a birthday from Sephora. So I want to see how much 100 uses on this will make this go down. I've traveled with this a bunch because it is so tiny, but I have not made, I feel like, any sort of dent in this. So I'm very curious if I start using this more regularly, how much after 100 uses I will have gotten on this. The NARS blush is going between 22 and 21 grams. Looks like it's settling on 21 grams. The next product is this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I've been kind of ignoring this concealer in my collection, and so this is an older item that I want to start using again and really start making a dent in it, hopefully revive my love for it. And if it takes 100 uses to finish it, then use it 100 times or plus 100 times depending on where we go but this is certainly something that has been in my collection for a while and I haven't been giving it the love that it deserves and that is why I'm rolling it into this project and I'm also curious to see if I can finish it in less than 100 uses or if it's going to require more than 100 uses. I'm very curious so that is something that I'm going to be working on in this project. The concealer is 20 grams. The next thing is my Cody Airspun powder. I use this all the time but there is just so so much powder in here that I'm very curious how much 100 uses will make a dent in this. Yeah, so I'm just so curious to, to see, you know, after I use this 100 times, how much powder I have left and, you know, how much it takes to use something this big. Because like I said, I've been using it quite a lot and I feel like I haven't even made a dent in this. So we'll see. I'll count 100 times and we'll see where we're at on this as well. 
For the sake of this project, I am going to be measuring using my scale. For my project pan, I've been using kilograms, but I think grams are probably more accurate of a measurement, so I'm using grams for this one. So right now it is sitting at 111 grams. And then last but not least is this lip gloss. This is from Tarte and it is in the shade Cherry Slush and it smells like a cherry slushy, as the name would suggest. It is super cute. It's certainly like a little like girlier little cute little lip gloss but I have not been using it at all really because I've been focusing so much on my lippy stick from ColourPop because that has been my focus for my project pan and so I've been really ignoring a lot of my other lip products and I have so many lip products so I'm going to start focusing on this as well and this is just a little lip gloss which is nice for me because it's just super light and so I could take this to work and use this there so I'm curious to see how much 100 uses of this where it will bring it and this is a super easy um, container to kind of tell how far along we are in it so yeah I think that'll be really interesting this one is the lip gloss and that's at 32 grams so those are the five products that I want to focus on in this project pan 100 uses I'm so curious to see how much I can use them in a month but I'm also so curious to see after I use them for 100 uses if I'm finishing them or if they're anywhere close to being finished because I think that really tells you how much a product can really last. I think we tend to buy a lot of products and never really finish any of them up because they last forever. And so this will give us a better idea on at least some of these, you know, how long they actually will last. And if something's lasting at least 100 uses and you're not even halfway done or whatever, then you know, if you used it every day for a whole year, you still might not even finish some of these things. So just something that I thought would be interesting, kind of like a little bit of an experimental project pan that I can just continue and keep on going for as long as everyone <laughs> is interested in watching it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just getting to see which products I'm going to be working on in this project pan. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one.